The aspect about ancient and medieval fighting I'm going to talk about today is going to be something that's quite familiar to people who've done a lot of reenactment of the period, but to others they may not have worked this one out. So for those, this. It's about falling over. You see, um, if you receive a wound that kills you, you fall over, lie still, and you're just an obstacle on the battlefield. But an awful lot of wounds will not kill you, but they may immobilize you. So for instance, you get a, a spear in the belly or a great gash to your thigh and down you go. You can't get up, you can't run away, you are immobile, but you're still conscious. Uh, you may be in a bit of pain, but the adrenaline's pumping and you're still fighting. Your arms still work, you're still gripping a weapon, you are a danger to those around you. Uh, particularly, one hopes, the enemy. So, what do you want? Well, you can't run away because you've, you, you've lost your mobility, so you don't want to end up behind enemy lines because they're likely to kill you. So, as the enemy comes forward, and it's the enemy that's presumably dealt this blow to you, you're going to want to keep them away from you, and your friends are want to, going to want to keep the enemy back from you as well. And what can you do? Well, you can do something really quite useful, and that is scythe people's ankles. If you've got a sword, you can scythe very effectively at people's ankles and keep them back. They won't want to get near you because they don't want to get scythed in the ankles. And it's quite difficult. If you've got a sword and the man's also got a sword, it's quite difficult for him to kill you because you outreach him. Yes, you outreach him. Now, you see, if I want to attack you, not that I do, you understand, this is just notional, um, I take a swing at you from shoulder height and I can reach, let's say, I can just reach your shoulder, but your head is out of range and your chest is out of range. Well, if I come in just a little bit, I can now reach your head and reach your chest, but I can't reach your ankle, not without getting right down and exposing the back of my head and so forth. I have to get really low and lunge really far forwards to reach your ankle. That's because the thing which I fight with, this weapon, is ultimately attached to me at shoulder height. So I have most reach at shoulder height. However, you're on the ground. So shoulder height to you now is ankle height to me. So you can reach my ankle before I can reach your head or chest to put you out of action. So you're really dangerous. Yes, I can, of course, put my sword down and, and parry at ankle height. But while I'm doing that, I'm putting myself in danger and I'm not finishing you off. So what do I do? Well, of course, it's obvious. I should get down on the ground with you. I should lie next to you. And then uh, we come to, it's a, it's a fair match. But no, no, that's ridiculous because then I lose my mobility. That's my big advantage, right? I can move away. If you start getting the better of me, I can just back off. You can't charge in because you're immobilized. But I need to finish you off. I need to put you out of action because you're a danger and we are trying to advance. So what do I do? Well, what I do, is I get a spear. I get a weapon that's longer than your weapon and now you can't move and I can stand at a distance where you can't reach me because you've got a sword and I've got a spear and eventually stab, 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 eventually I will get you. And if there are two of me, well that is to say, there's, if, there, if I have a friend, if I have a friend and he has a spear with two of us, one of us can keep whatever weapon you've got occupied and the other one skewers you, it's going to be over very, very quickly. Two spearmen against a downed foe with a sword will win pretty quickly, pretty much every time. But what if you've got a spear? Well, again, if there are two spearmen, and that's easy uh, to arrange because in a group fight, one of uh, spearmen on my side, he can come over and help. But you can't recruit someone on the ground to help you because people on the ground can't move because they're immobilized, remember? So we can use our mobility to outnumber you. And as soon as we outnumber you with spears, one of us occupies your spear for a bit and the other one skewers you. So that's it. If you're immobilized, ideally you want a long weapon, uh, but better than that is the protection of mobile friends of yours. And if you want to put someone out of action who's immobilized, a spear is excellent and a sword or something shorter than that is actually really not very good at all. Indie Mage!